you know, my, my connection to giving back. Give it back. Culture is most definitely a movement. Give it back. To give it back. Give it back. So right now we are in Tappan Middle School um, here in the United States. We got uh, elementary school, which is like you know, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, one through five about, which is like ages uh, like six through 10, 11. Uh, and we have middle school, which is where I am right now, which is where I work, Tapping Middle School, which is grade six, seventh, and eighth, which is like uh, 11, age 11, age 12, age 13 ish. And then we have high school. Um, which is ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. My name is Jamal Bufford. Um, you might know me from Athletic Mike League. You might know me from Crown Royal with my brother DJ Redmatic. You might know me from the Black Opera. I'm a hip hop artist. I have been writing raps for about 25 years. Um, been putting out material for about 20 years. Um, so yeah, I would say I fell in love with hip hop around early 90s, 1990, 91, 92. Started writing around 93 and then uh, put out my first music for consumer consumption around uh, 1998. This is the special needs class, um, the EI classroom. EI means emotionally impaired. So um, it was, I believe we have six students in the classroom now um, who may have been uh, categorized as emotionally impaired and some cognitively impaired as well. Um, so emotionally impaired means, you know, they, ha they have issues expressing themselves and dealing with their emotions. Uh, cognitively impaired means they sh may struggle a little bit, be a couple grade levels behind their actual grade with their, uh, their schoolwork. Um, so we have a teacher in the class. Um, I'm one of the TAs or paraprofessionals. I help the teacher out um, and we do, we cover every uh, subject in the in this class. Um, so the goal is for the kids in this class to eventually be able to work their way out into uh, the gen ed classes in the other classrooms so they can go to all their classes. So they spend some of the time in here. Some spend all day in here. Some sp spend some time in here and they go out certain classes and then we'll we work kind of one on one. We go with the students to their classes to help them get adjusted to that. Um, but yeah, we help them with everything. Science, math, ELA, social studies. My boy who I started with is at another school now, okay. but when he was here, we actually had studio equipment set up cool. and get in here and record. Um, so we, but they kind of switched it up. Yeah. They were like, ah, we gotta tone it down a little bit. Yeah. So okay. don't have that anymore, but maybe, maybe we can yeah. get it yeah. going yeah. back in here. Yeah. Punch oh. the punching bag if they need to. Okay. Oh, you yeah, know? so that, that's really serious. They're, yeah, they were, they if they really got to get it out, we let them go in here. They can let it out on the wall, okay. let it out on the bag here, oh, you know. That, that's yeah. serious. I was like, yeah. okay. Yeah, so it's rare. It's yeah. rare that we have to come in here, but, yeah. you know, we, we utilize it when we need to. Yeah. You know that the, the kids that are in uh, these EI classes, um, 
you know, they, they deal with a lot at home. They come from a lot of trauma at home. Um, a lot of it is out of their control. Um, they get here and they really don't know how to ex express themselves or express what's going on at home. So they may lash out, um, you know, and it's tough. It's, it's tough. It, some days are really difficult, you know. Um, if you are not invested, you know, this could, this might, probably isn't the job for you. Um, you know, there are definitely days where I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to continue to do this. Um, but you got to just realize, you know, that you can't take anything personally. I think uh, giving back resonates so much with hip hop because hip hop at its core and its origin comes from struggle. So it, it, it was born out of people who were in need. They were lacking something. They felt like um, I need, I'm not getting what I need out here, you know? So they either result to selling drugs or uh, hooking up with a gang, you know, that's how hip hop started. So uh, it eventually evolved into, all right, we want to leave the drugs behind. We want to leave the, the, the gang violence behind. That, you know, at least gang violence between gangs. We got to gang up, you know, and fight, fight to, you know, the police that's just trying to kill us in our community, you know, protect ourselves through that. So hip hop was born out of struggle. So I think if you if you come from struggle, if you come from a background of not having a lot and then you are fortunate enough to get something, whether it be a lot of money or fame or resources or ability to help people, you, you want to return the favor. You want to help those who you see a little bit of yourself in them, you know. So I think that's why that you get that sense from, from hip hop artists.